Good morning. This is Tiana, the uh, one of the pastors at the High Ground UMC, and I'm checking in for my Monday ministry minute. And <clears throat> my husband and his good buddy were uh, breaking beans this morning, so they were they were they were snapping these beans. And uh, I love that this is in a Bud Light container. Uh, mind you, that his buddy owns a, a bar, so that's why the Bud Light container. But they were snapping these beans, and and uh, one kind of beans, like you just snap them, and <clears throat> and they're good to go. Like you just snap them, and and you throw them in there. But then there's other kind of beans that you have to string, right? They have a string in there, and you have to pull it out. Otherwise, you have this string when you um, when you go to cook them, and it does not taste good. Uh, so some of them you just snap and you just throw it straight into the Bud Light container, I guess, if you if that's what you have. <laughs> that's what they were throwing it in was a old Bud Light 12 pack box. And um, but others you just you just snap it and you and you toss it into the the container, and, and they're good to go. And we're going to be canning them later on. We got this big garden going. But when uh, a few years ago, I decided I was going to do some canning. And my husband was deployed, so uh, I didn't know exactly 100% what I was doing. And I didn't realize that about the stringing. I forgot about the stringing part. And so I canned like 12 containers of these beans. And... Uh, they all had the string still on them. So I have like, I think we have like four more jars left of these beans that they are not de-strung. They still have the string on them. And I remember one time cooking, you know, dumping it out and remembering that all the strings were still on them. So literally one by one, but on the canned beans already, I had to string, string them after they're already been canned. So... What's the point of all this? What does this have to do with, with Jesus and a, and a ministry minute, right? And I was thinking that sometimes we have to slow down. We have to slow down. We have to remember the steps, the procedures. There's a reason why we, there's a method to the madness, if you will. Like without stringing them, it's just a really a worthless can of beans. Sometimes we have to reflect, sometimes we have to slow down and remember that there's a, there's a method to the madness. Whether it's um, the method to your madness of, of where your walk is with Jesus. And sometimes you need to slow down and just see that we need to be of sound mind to understand what is all going on. There's a great passage. I want to see if I can find it. I, I actually took a snap or a, a screenshot of it this morning and I forgot I'm like on my phone so I doesn't really do me much good if the screenshot is on the phone that I'm on live with but let me see if I can't find it really quick but it's in I know it's in Romans so it's Romans 13 if you want to be able to look it up and I think it was verse um, right at the top let me see here let me see if I can't find it bear with me Bear with me. Um, hold on. Hold on. Bear with me. I'm sorry. I can't find it. Anyway. Anyway, it talks about the being, uh, being of sound mind and, and not falling... Oh, you know why? That's why. Because I'm not in Romans 13. I'm in Romans 3. Let me keep going. Give me a minute. I promise I will get there eventually. Stay with me. Okay, here it is. Okay, Romans 13, uh, verse 11. Do this knowing the time that it is already the hour for you to awaken from sleep. For now salvation is nearer to us than we believe. The night is almost gone, and the day is, is near. Therefore, let us lay aside the deeds of darkness and put on the armor of light. Let us behave properly as in the day, and not carousing in drunkenness, not in sexual promiscuity and sensuality, not in strife or jealousy, but put on the Lord Jesus Christ, and make no provision for the flesh in regarding its lust. So, 
this is this is you know it gives us some examples of ways that we cannot be don't be carousing don't be in drunkenness or sexual promiscuity but the best part of this verse is that that verse 14 where it says but put on the lord jesus christ sometimes we have to just put on jesus clear our minds and remember that there is a method to him working in your life sometimes it's something as simple as remembering to de-string the, the green beans right Another example I thought of was how we go fast. Like, where are my speeders? I am, I am a lead foot, 100%. And the other day I was driving, and I always look at the, the, the uh, speed limit as a challenge a little bit. Somebody else say, say amen to that. Um, I go a little bit too fast sometimes. But we drive on all these country back roads, and they tell you, like, 45 when you go around this curve. Well, I can go faster than 45. I'm not going to go into an accident, right? Until one time... I go around that corner, and it's not because it's I'm going too fast, but because a deer is in the road. So then I have to slam my brakes, and I have to slow down, and it could have been a bad thing, right? Well, the thing we have to think about in our lives is that sometimes Jesus says, you need to slow down, not because I don't think that you can handle it, but because you don't know what is up ahead. So when you are dealing with... Um, let's say you're at work and you don't like where you're at at work and you are just upset, you're complaining a lot, you're just like, I need to get out of this situation. And then, although that may be true, you don't know what God is trying to show you through those provisions. You need to take a step back, listen to him, be patiently waiting for him and allow him to, to take those steps forward for you. Sometimes we just have to be sitting quietly. We just have to be. We have to just be putting on the Lord Jesus Christ, as he says. And we have to remember the de-string the beans, right? Remember to slow down when it says go 45, we should slow down. Because there's something much more than just what we can think. We put God on this small spectrum, and we need to remember that there is so much more that he has either have in store for us, or so much more that he's protecting us from at the same time. So walk away from those things, be of sound mind, and remember that there's so much more to the madness in your life than what we can ever even imagine. And there's so much more that he wants for us than we can even, even think or believe that he has. So be remembering that as you go about this week. Father, we thank you for the method to your madness, to the methods that you provide for us, and just to have us sit back remove these things, be of sound mind, that we can go about our week and that we can provide that you are going to cover everything. You are already 10 steps ahead when we can only see two steps ahead. You're covering it, you're providing, you're just giving us those graces and your mercies um, even before we even know what they are. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, I hope you guys have a great week. Go and make it beautiful. There's only a couple more weeks of school being out. So go parents, stay strong. I promise you can make it through and uh, figure out a way that you can give someone, Jesus, give, give someone space to discover Jesus as you go about your week. Bye.